Did you bring condoms today? There's some in the car. Just happen to be some in the glove box? No, I always have condoms anywhere I go. To Catch a Predator might just be one of the greatest TV shows ever created. And today, we will be looking at quite possibly one of the dumbest people to ever be featured on the show. Meet Calvin Greer, the man of the hour. Now, Calvin's kind of an interesting character. He doesn't do like one thing that's super stupid. He kind of just gives off like an aura of stupidity. Like he's never fully grasping the situation he's in. So after watching this originally, I decided to do some research. And I looked this guy's name up. And it turns out that he actually actually lives in my state, so that's just, that's just awesome. But that's enough complaining, I doubt I'm his type anyways. Let's just watch the video. Please subscribe. This is him, it's Lee Greer, it's Lee Greer. It's Lee Greer 74, our one o'clock, we believe. He's on the back door, hips porch, opening the door. What did you bring? The double cheeseburgers with no pickles. Awesome. All right, I got some fries, but the fries might be cold. They take me a little while to find this place. That's all right, fries are always good. And they didn't give me my sodas I ordered, so. Calvin, come on now, don't lie. You know the golden rule. Honesty is the best policy. You know you just didn't want to fork over those extra two bucks for those sodas. Be honest now. You can just take a seat. I'll be right there. Okay. So no uh, cookies for you? What's going on? Not much. Who are you? Who are you? Um, Lee. Lee, what are you doing here? Uh, come to visit a friend off the net, I thought. Okay, so I've watched a lot of this show, and it's kind of funny seeing just how similar these guys' responses are. Like, at first, they always seem to be kind of, like, mildly annoyed. They're like, I was coming to meet a friend. God. And they always tiptoe around their word choices. They always try to play it off like it's normal for a 40-year-old man to come see a teenager for fun. A friend off the net. Yes. Yeah, and who's that friend? Uh, her name is Sammy, I believe. The name is what? Sammy. Samantha. Samantha. Right. And this is another thing they do all the time. They start to act like they don't know everything. They'll misremember ages and names. Almost like they're trying to make it seem unimportant to them. Like that makes it look any better that you're here sitting in their home. How old uh, is Samantha? I thought she was 18 or older. 18 or older. Right. And what made you think that she was 18 or older? Just... By the way, she talked and acted and... Truth is always the best, Jerry. So why don't you start over again and tell me how old did she say she was in the conversation? 13. Chris Hansen must have some sort of superpower. The fact that these guys never just stand up and walk out is incredible. It's like he has them frozen there, and then he just demands the truth and they tell him? This man should be working for the FBI. 13, okay. Yes, sir. How old are you? 31. And you thought it was okay for a 31-year-old man to come to a home no, where sir. a 13-year-old girl was alone because why exactly? I didn't. Then why did you do it? Stupidity. Stupidity. Honestly. I was... stupidity. Okay, so for some reason it seems like Calvin thinks the word stupid is gonna get him out of this because he's gonna repeat it about 3,000 times over the next five minutes. So just get ready for that. You <laughs> sent her that picture. Yes, that was stupid. Oh yes, that is my wiener. That is stupid. I must admit, that was a mistake. Can I go now? These burgers are getting cold. Right? Yeah. What does that say about your intent? Stupidity. Honestly. Stupidity. Right. And I told her they were dirty pictures and she wanted to see them, so I showed them. Oh! Uh, well, in that case, Calvin, you're free to go. I bet a judge would love to hear that. No, you see, ma'am, she asked for the pictures. Yeah, yeah, I know. Big misunderstanding. You can let them go now. It's, so, because a 13 year old girl says it's okay, it's okay for you to do no, it? No, it's not, sir. No, sir. Are you married? Yes, sir. Do you have children? No, sir. How's this going to go over at home? Not good. <laughs> I had really, really, really like for it not to go home. That's probably who I feel worst for in these shows. I mean, who cares about these guys? They could go rot in prison, that would be ideal. But like, they're unsuspecting family members. How do you deal with that? How do you deal with knowing you married that? And you might even be outcast, because people might not believe that you didn't know what was going on. Just an awful situation. Really, um, sir? Did you bring condoms today? There's some in the car. Just happen to be some in the glove box. No, I always have condoms anywhere I go because of diseases. Calvin, Calvin, come on now.
You're not helping yourself. First off, you have a wife, okay? Secondly, even if you didn't care about being faithful, which you obviously don't, I... I can't quite imagine women are exactly throwing themselves at you. Maybe I'm wrong. I always have them in my car with me. Is that your personal car? Or no, sir, that's, my, that's the rental car. Alright, so this is what Calvin is expecting us to believe. Now, I could kind of understand if you're an avid cheater that you might have condoms in your car at all times. I guess for the rare occasion that someone might see Calvin and think he's a hunk. But really? You want us to believe that you make sure that they're in your rental as well, just in case? Come on, Calvin. Just say you didn't bring any. It would save you the embarrassment for at least 10 minutes or so. He was in uh, the communications business, and he was on assignment in Florida. You know, it sort of gave me the sense that, you know, he was just bored, cruising the internet, and decided to chat up this young girl. You had planned on staying the night. No, I was going to get a room tonight. That's what I told her on the net, that, you know, I'd consider staying the night or whatever, but... I wouldn't. It's actually shocking just how similar some of these guys are. They all say the same exact things. There's always something that they told the girl or they told the boy that they're gonna do, but they never really had any intentions on doing. I mean, come on, you're busted. Just stop lying. But there's talk about spending the night here. Yes, I know that. Did you pack a bag? No, sir. I got one little deal. It's got my underwear, it's got my sh another, a new shirt, and I always wear my shorts twice because they're not dirty. And I got my PJs. Sounds like you're all set. Got food, got condoms, got sleepwear. Ready to spend the night? I know what it sounds like. Well, there's a few things that you need to know. One is that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on adults meeting teens on the internet. You'd think guys like this would know who Chris Hansen is, especially considering how big the show was at this time. I mean, it's like the Joker not recognizing Batman. <laughs> Everything that you've done since you pulled up here has been recorded on camera. If there's anything you'd like to tell us further, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to walk out that door you came in. Lee, you're free to go. Can you take your... Is my face going to be shown on TV? We haven't made any final decisions as to who's going to be in the story and who's not. And I just we don't just want my wife to find out. I understand, but we, I, I'm just being honest with you. We haven't decided who's in and who's not. I thank y'all. Wait. Wait, what, you thank them? Why would you thank them, Calvin? Because of them, I know your address. You're on a list, partner. Do you think this is a game show? I'm sorry again. Okay. Time after time, guys have tried to say, come on, could we talk off camera? You know, turn the cameras off, I want to talk. My response is, look, we're doing an investigative story. We haven't decided exactly who's going to be in yet. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Please, sir! Get on the ground! Let me see your hand! Oh, Lord! Hold on a second, is Calvin the voice actor for Goofy? Did y'all hear that? Oh, Lord! So Calvin did some decent time, he got almost two years in prison, and now he's living a couple hours away from me, so that's just great. They honestly need to bring this show back. Could y'all imagine Mini Lad versus Chris Hansen? It'd be a bloodbath. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and walk on over to that subscribe button, and touch it, it's free, it won't cost you a penny. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Oh, Calvin, you are something. Not something good, but something. But do you know what is something good? August the Ducks channel, so make sure to subscribe. If you don't, I will be forced to uppercut your grandmother.